18-year-old Ty Marshall just graduated high school, but he's already an experienced businessman. Marshall has been raising unusual birds here on his parents' farm near Vulcan, Alberta, for most of his life under the name Ty's Exotics. When I was about four years old, uh, my, aunt, my aunt and I thought we'd get a few birds just to have around the yard, and uh, we started getting more and more, and eventually we had quite a collection, and then uh, she decided that she wasn't interested in them anymore, so I took it on from there, and now it's built to where it's at. At the time of our July visit, Marshall's numbers were down somewhat because most of his buyers had made their purchases for the summer. He finds the majority of his customers are looking for something unusual, with heritage or exotic chickens probably the most popular sellers. Anywhere from five to 10,000 chicken chicks a year, and then uh, miscellaneous turkeys, guinea fowl, all that, a uh, couple thousand, and then uh, domestic waterfowl, it all depends, but around 5,000 a year. Marshall carries Malaysian Sarama chickens, which are considered the world's smallest chickens. They normally weigh under a pound each, making them about 20 to 25 percent of the size of a conventional chicken. They wouldn't be used for meat or anything commercial. They're strictly for show or for hobby or the novelty, pretty much. This is a whooper swan with its distinctive yellow and black bill. The yellow markings are like fingerprints, different for each bird. Marshall keeps them mainly for his own enjoyment because owning one of these birds requires a license, something most customers prefer to avoid. In another area of the farm, we found this pond, which was developed by Marshall and his parents and has become a very important component in his business. Yeah, we've got a spring behind me up on the hill and it feeds down to the pond here that was built and uh, keep mostly swans here and uh, some geese and ducks also stay here, but for the most part it's for swans. This pair of Australian black swans thoroughly enjoys getting their exercise in the pond. A license is not required to own these graceful looking birds, so Marshall has no trouble selling them. Black swans will run, it depends on the age and mature, but they'll run anywhere from 600 to 1200 a pair depending on how old they are and if they're proven or um, also bloodlines where they came from. They're uh, opposite of us so most of their breeding occurs in our in our fall or winter uh, which during the winter they go inside where they have an indoor pool and that's where they raise their young. This is Marshall's recently acquired breeding pair of rare East African crown cranes who are being kept in the same pen with some much smaller black-bellied tree ducks. The cranes only lay a couple of eggs per year, so building up his numbers is going to require some patience. But he's confident that he'll be paid very well once he has enough numbers to start selling breeding pairs. The cranes, depending on where they come from, um, bloodlines and how old they are, they'll be anywhere from 2,000 to 6,000, roughly. Okay. And uh, the tree ducks, uh, depending on the year, they'll be two, three, four hundred, around there. He's keeping these birds inside a 50 by 25 foot pen with nest boxes spread throughout and a small pond in the middle. Marshall already knows that the cranes can get quite nasty if things get too crowded, so he made sure to give them lots of room. Foxes and coyotes normally leave his exotic birds alone, but birds of prey such as hawks, owls and eagles can cause significant losses without the proper precautions. Target the heads of the different birds where they'll just fly down and take the head and leave most of the body. And um, that's the main problem. And that's why most of the pens have to be netted over around here to um, keep the birds of prey out anyways. The Marshall Farm is located within a fairly short drive from a major U.S. border crossing, which makes it easier for Ty to do business with Americans. Even at such a young age, he has grown to become quite an effective marketer. Most of it's just on uh, word of mouth. Most people have heard about me or talk about me. Uh, I've also got my own website, um, which is just www.prayexotics.com, and uh, I sell lots through there. Marshall told us he's had over 10,000 birds here at one time during the peaks of his busiest seasons. In the near future, he's planning to cut back his numbers somewhat as he pursues his education. But he still expects to continue making sales of his most popular birds, such as chickens, cranes, swans, and geese.